Hey everyone, it's Eva Migajono. Welcome back to more Crash Bandicoot 2. Last time we got. Well, wait. We finished the first four levels on level one and obtained their crystals, obviously. This episode. We are going to take on the final level on level one. Yay! Which actually means that we're going to be nearly one fifth of the way through the game already. This game, or well, this level, we have to run backwards because. A giant boulder is chasing us! Oh my god, run! Okay. Um, so yeah, basically the camera will pan backwards to make it slightly easier for you to run. Uh, there was a little bomb that I hit there. Uh, that will pretty much slow you down, so you're gonna want to try and avoid the, those things that I just ran past, yeah. Really? This level honestly takes a little bit of skill. Like, you need quick reaction time. <laughs> Uh, probably one of the first more difficult levels in the game. Yeah, and every single time you get to one of those- OH MY GOD! Wow, okay. Um, yeah, and every single time that you get to one of those little hot things, there will be a checkpoint there. Yes, and there is also electricity things here that are, that are there to electrocute you if you hit one of them. Such intensity! And the ball blows up the nitros for you. Ha 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 ha, convenient. Woohoo! Yay, it's a crystal and a bonus round. I don't even know how I ran onto that there, but whatever. Alright! Yeah, it's funny because, um... Oh my god, check this out. Yay, that takes skill right there. Oh my god, I probably should get away from them. <laughs> Um, okay, I hate this bit here. Dead set, it is the most pointless part in the entire bonus round. So, what I'm gonna do, because this actually breaks the boxes a lot quicker. Ooh. Bounce. 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 Yes. Um, yeah. The way those uh, bouncy boxes work, the longer you leave them, the less apples you'll get out of them, and the quicker they'll break. That thing obviously speeds you up. So, yeah. If you're getting chased by a boulder, that is one way of getting past it quickly. Oh my god, two quick holes there. Ah! Bombs! Ah! Another bomb! A box! Woo! Yeah, uh, the boulder actually doesn't break that box, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you actually get that box, so. Yeah. So many holes on the last stage, god. And right here are gonna be some boxes and a life, okay. Oh my! Wait! No! How did I get. How did I die? I didn't even touch the electrical. Thing. That's gay. I don't even know how that happened. Wow, I've died twice, and they're both unintentionally. What is this? I'm losing my touch. Of course, I'd die though. To let's play, <laughs> nothing ever goes right. Let, nothing ever goes right in let's play, especially in my commentary. Ah, jeez, so unprofessional, unprofound. Okay. Oh my God, we actually got a life back. Yay! All right, thank God, and we actually got two lives out of that. Yay, we got the gem as well. That level took twice as long as it should have, but whatever. And we have now completed level one, except for that red gem, which, which we're going to come back later for and get. Alright. Now that we... We didn't have to listen to Cortex, by the way. Now that we've done that, what you're going to want to do is come to the center platform here and press up. Now... We are about to take on the first boss of the game. His name is Ripperoo. He's actually some sort of cross between some sort of thing and a kangaroo. I don't know what he is. He works in a library. He's so intelligent. Yeah, you madman. Let's go! Okay, what he, he's basically going to just lay out a bunch of TNTs that count down from 6 to 0, and then they'll all eventually blow up. And he kills himself. Uh, but the main way of actually killing him is letting him blow, him blow himself up after he layers the nitros, then going up and attacking him. So that's basically the way this boss works. It is really a retarded boss. It's just ridiculously easy. You, all you got to do is really is avoid the TNTs and nitros, obviously. But I love his laugh. It's just like so evil. This boss is just so easy. He just... He kills himself! What? <laughs> Why? 
Why would you do this to yourself? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the spot where it doesn't blow up, so yeah. Alright, we defeated Ripperoo, guys! Yay. Wasn't that easy? <laughs> okay. Now we're going to move on to level 2 of the game, that is, not the boss, because the boss has already been defeated. And it is snow based, so yeah. And now Cortex is gonna have his regular speech. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered, 20 to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all 13 of them, and this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise. Crash, I can't keep the data pack open. Crash, you need to find... Okay, whatever. Now then, we aren't going to do the levels in order on this level. For starters, we're going to do this level right here! You get to ride a polar bear. How much fun is that going to be? Let's do this! Woohoo! Alright. It is actually pretty hard to get the gem in this level because the boxes are kind of spaced out and it is a little bit more difficult to navigate crash on this. But let's see what we can do. Yes, I got the box, I think. Oh my god, a life. Seriously, this level actually gives you a fair amount of lives and Wampa Fruit. Wampa Fruit are those little apple looking things, just in case I didn't say that. I don't know. Another life. See? Oh god! TNTs, yes, they're already going off. And as a killer whale, a ray, really easy to dodge. Oh no, don't kill me. Bunch of nitros, let's get through these. Run, ha ha, yeah, take that nitros, you suck! I've been blown up by that TNT before, it wasn't exactly pleasant. Alright, this bit. Oh crap, I missed a box! You know what? Let's die. We are now in a frozen ice cube. Yeah, I'll uh, just say you, you can jump over those nitros, but I choose not to because it's pretty gay jumping over stuff. Unless it's actually going to actually kill you, but... Screw that, you know, I'm just going to come back later and get the gem in this. Ah. Uh. Alright, even though we missed all the, missed a box. Screw you, man! We missed a box! Okay. Alright, um, uh, that's pretty much all I really wanted to do this episode. Uh, off screen, I'll come back into this level and get a gem. But, um, really, we're done. Uh, next time in Crash Bandicoot 2, we are going to... Maybe do this level here and... Actually, we'll do this level here, okay? See you guys then!